Okay, so welcome to my end of season review. You can see I'm looking a little bit different. Apologies for the, the this stuff in the background. I need to sort it out. It's all a mess. So welcome. Um, basically, the idea of this video is to react to the goals that I've caught on camera this season. I know that I've done something kind of similar in the past, but I thought... Oops, sorry. I thought at least this way I can kind of, you know, talk through it and give my my opinions on how the season kind of unfolded, some of the best moments, some of the worst moments. It is only the Wolves goals. I haven't included all of the opposition's goals too, simply because we're here to celebrate what we've done and we're just going to ignore that anything bad happened after any of the goals we scored. So we're going to be totally oblivious to it today. And we're going to get right into the video. So starting off, we've obviously got Neves' goal against Everton. Now we were 1-0 down at this point and he equalised. Unfortunately, that is an absolute banger of a goal. Um, unfortunately, I never got Raul's equaliser on, so we went 2 1 down in the second half, and then Raul equalised probably about 15 minutes to go. But I didn't get that, I got Nevers' as goal. I'll take it though, what a free kick. Second game um, at home, Man City, who honestly, if, if we'd have lost or if we'd have beat them this day, they probably wouldn't have won the league, so I guess they're kind of glad they got an equaliser. But this is Bolly's goal. Nice little whip in from Matinho and bang, there's a finish from Bolly. Controversial goal, hand of guard. At the time, I didn't see it watching it back. I think my footage shows that it hits his head first. Um, but I'm probably clutching at straws there. We did go on to draw the game with them though. Cracking performance from the Wolves and I think that's when we realised, you know, we were here to, here to fight the big boys, so. Good game, good game. Um, you know, it all started, yeah, we had a little bit of blue, but oh, we could do it. And see, it definitely hits his head, definitely hits his head. There's Jimenez's goal against Burnley, one that I didn't really catch cleanly on camera, but it did win us the game after about 27 shots. Um, Joe Hart had an absolute worldie of a game, and Jimenez finally found the breakthrough. It was looking like it was going to be a boring 0 0, or Burnley were going to go down the other end and somehow win the game, but we, we, we stuck that one out and we managed to get the result in the end. Well, yeah, that was, a, that was a tough nut to crack, that was. Um, so this is a Southampton goal. There's me saying top bins. For some reason, I can't find Cavalier actually scoring. I believe I got it on camera, but maybe I didn't. Um, but yeah, predicted top bins. Cav straight away, bang. And this is the Johnny goal. So a nice build up down the wing. Um, beats his man. Fairly easy. Pulls it back. Bad touch from Johnny, if you ask me. He puts it straight to that defender. Somehow toe pokes it past the keeper. And that was another 2 0 win against what was a bottom side in the end, so. Shows that we can do it, we can do it. Really nice sunny day at Mongo, had really good seats that game as well. Perfect view of the pitch. Ah, okay. Um, yes, it's Crystal Palace. We took a cabbage because Villa would farm a cabbage at Steve Bruce. Um, and just look at the absolute nutcases in this. Like, it's caking it down with rain, one of the coldest away days. In fact, it was the coldest away day. And there's people just running around in puddles. Like, we just had fun. Um, the atmosphere was cracking, but the away end was absolutely awful. Now, this was the reaction to Doherty's goal. I didn't get it on camera. I couldn't see anything. I mean, if you look, I'm literally tiptoeing and holding my phone like this the whole game. Um, but yeah, pinkies up if you hate the walls. That kid was just swearing at us like this the whole game. I thought it was hilarious. And there's Nuno celebrating, another vlog that never made it of mine. So that's some of the clips from it. This was the Spurs comeback, unfortunately we didn't complete it, but a nice penalty from Neves into the bottom left corner. We're starting to think, oh, we've got to go back, we've got time, can we do it? Um, I don't know, it was one of those again, we'll be unfortunate, I don't know, because we went to sleep and allowed Spurs to score twice within like a couple of minutes, as we did against Watford not that long before this happened. Um, then we've got Raul's penalty again. I don't believe he's ever missed a penalty in his career, bar the one he missed in pre-season for us, which I think is really funny. Solid finish, though. Um, but, yeah, we never got the equaliser in the end. We lost this game. 3-2, and we were having a bit of a bad spell here. I think we've got one point in 18. Uh, this is the LA, LA, LA Arsenal. Sounded incredible. That concourse was mental. Um... 
again, it was another it was another game we were unfortunate to lose. I mean, they equalised in like the 86th minute, and then we hit the crossbar, <laughs> and you're just like, hey, have we lost that? And again, Arsenal, hey, have we lost that? But we got one point in 18, and it was a bit, you know, a bit a bit dead here. This part of the season, we were starting to to panic a little bit. Fans were, but we turned it back around. As you're saying, what a stadium, but there's just no atmosphere in the Emirates at all. Another game. We didn't deserve to win this one, though. We went one up, but we didn't deserve to win the game. And, again, finish from Doherty, Doherty. I never know what to call him these days, by the way. But I celebrated that hard. I accidentally cut my phone off. It just went... Oh... I just didn't know where I was at this point. <laughs> I was like looking at the seats in front and then everyone's pushing me. Oh, it was mental in the surf bank that night. Look at that, it's just a pile of boys just on the floor there. Absolutely crazy game. So that was Raul putting us one, uh, equalising against Chelsea. And then the next clip is probably going to be um, obviously Jota going 2 1 up. Unbelievable. Oh, boys. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That was quality, that was. And just to build up to the second goal, here it is. So Doherty puts it across, back stick, and who's there? Bang, Diogo Jota. <laughs> wow. That's one of those games from the season I definitely really live again, just for the absolute limbs in the surf bank. Absolute limbs. I said Jota! I did predict him to score that game. That was the turnaround of Diogo. I think he'd had a poor season, really. He gets this goal and suddenly he's firing from all cylinders for us. Um, that was like the start of the role Jota partnership. This is obviously Newcastle away. Again, another Doherty Doherty goal. Keeper palms it, he's just there to head it in at the back stick. That was a that was a harder way end to celebrate in by the way. I don't know if you saw just there, but the seats were about that high. So if you even slightly went forward, you would just trip on the seat and go plummeting down. You'd probably end up in Sunderland, like you would fall and roll that far. Um, it was a good away day. Um, it made the long trip there worth it. But we did go up the night before, had a party in Newcastle, and went to the game. Ah. Uh, Another freezing cold game. Well, nice finish from Cavalier. Oh, look at that. Bang, bottom corner. Absolutely clinical. Beat Bournemouth 2-0. So all that panic about one point in 18 starts to turn around. We start getting a couple of wins under our belt. This is the, um, the Shrewsbury game in the FA Cup. Um, again, I've had to nick this from my own video <laughs> because I can't find the original clip. So I've just had to get what I've already uploaded off. Um, and put it up, look at that. See how my logo has changed from just a blue square to an actual Holly in a nice box. But that was a good win. Obviously, this led to a cup run. Um, one of the, the hurdles, probably the hardest hurdle we had to cross in the whole cup run against Shrewsbury. They gave us a good game, couldn't fault them, and their fans probably outsang us. Honestly, it was quite a night of you. There's my dad. I don't even need to speak here, and I'm not going to. Second, but it's 2 0 two nil up against Man United in the FA Cup, fifth round. This put us into the semi finals where we got to Wembley. So, you know what's coming next. More, it's just, just, oh, best game I've ever been to down the Man It's just, I mean, I'm getting goosebumps now just watching it. Best highlight of my season. It's showing me the next clip is just gonna eradicate all of that, but. Like it goes from like the most surreal moment to the most heartbreaking. It's just like, you did this a good man night, you don't you work? And suddenly we score. <laughs> so that guy shut up straight away. 
I've, yeah, I've had to nick this again off my old channel. Um, I can't find the original clips. And what a finish from Raul. Absolute finish. Just what? bam, touch, what? in it goes. And you can read the screen now. I thought we'd done it. You literally shout. Oh, well, I literally shout. We've done it, we've done it. God, I wish. Oh, I wish. But then we move on to the 3 1 win against Arsenal. There's Nevers' free kick. I was in the family stand of the Billy Wright, so my language was very tame this match. <laughs> What? Dirty, bang, and it goes. Solid, solid goal. And Jota, I couldn't really see because that man was stood in front of literally where he placed the ball. But I was just in silence here, like I'm like. Wait, wait. We just go through and look at this last one. And final home game of the season, we've got Dendonka's goal against Fulham. What? Although, that was the offside, <laughs> as you can hear me tell you, <laughs> that one's offside. And here's the goal. Bang, nice volley, Dendonka! And the quality just looks like potato footage, because again, I've had to take it off my channel. I can't find my videos, I know where they've gone. Um, Thankfully, though, I won't have to really need them from now on. I'll keep my FA Cup and Manda goals, but... And that's it for the season, honestly. That is it. So... What a season it's been. Um, I, I, I honestly can't even... sum it up into words. Sorry about the clicking, I was just sorting that out. Um... Like I said, there's been there's been pure pure joy, there's been pure heartbreak, there's been some absolutely bang average games in between. Um, but you know, to think of where we've come from and, and how united the fans have been this season, it's been remarkable. Um I'm looking forward to to seeing what happens. Hopefully I'm gonna be watching the FA Cup final on the weekend. I might try and vlog that, do a reaction to it because Ultimately, if Man City win the FA Cup, we will be in Europe, which is massive. It's just time to really make sense of what has been an absolutely crazy season, trying to, to just soak that in, and we'll enjoy it on the weekend, so hopefully I can get a good reaction video to the FA Cup. If we don't make Europe, we still finish seventh in the Prem, and I don't think that's anything we can be disappointed with. Again, you know, we had that literally one bad spell, where we got one point in 18, lost to the likes of Huddersfield, who beat us twice in the season anyway, lost to Cardiff, Brighton, Spurs, got a point against Arsenal, and we were just struggling, it looked like, you know, things were just going to go downhill, I think Nuno sorted that straight out, Dendonka comes into the squad, Jota suddenly finds his form, and things turn around, and, and you know, we finished the season, what, unbeaten in 13 or 14 games, something silly like that, and... What an effort from the boys. What an absolute effort from the boys. Like, we cannot fault them. It's just been absolutely incredible. And I've enjoyed every minute of it. Unfortunately, I couldn't go to as many games at the start of the year as I wanted to because of my personal situation, which is sorted now. So next season, there shouldn't really be any excuses for me to not, not go. So thank you, thank you, thank you, um, finally, for all the support I've had. Obviously, this channel was my own. I started with the Everton game, first game of the season, my first vlog, I put the Man City game up, the Burnley vlog, and then I left my channel, I went to work on someone else's channel, which is something that, in hindsight, I probably should never have done, but I got back on here, and the support I've had since doing that has just made everything so worth it, like, thank you, I, I hope I can keep growing, I'm going to sort my equipment out, I'm going to hopefully have a nicer background next time you see me doing a Wolves video and and hopefully we can just crack on and, and really get sorted and I'm just looking to improve and you guys are helping me improve by giving me support and giving me a reason to, to want to do better and, and make things better so I hope you've enjoyed this video if you have please leave a thumbs up or a comment and I'll try and get back to you all I know I've been sucking with that lately my notifications seem awful and I can't tell who I've actually like replied to anymore it just seems to not be there so sorry if I've like loved and then unloved your comment it's an accident I can't see it but thank you thank you thank you subscribe if you're new here 
look out for more fo- more football videos i have got one lined up so i will have that done soon and uploaded and hopefully i'll get something on the weekend too if we make europe so thank you all i hope you've enjoyed this video i know it's slightly different but it just seemed like the best way to do things so really appreciate it and i'll see you in the next one